Hey everybody, it's Gamalad. Welcome back to Let's Play Popolo Croix, the story of Seasons Fairy Tale. In the last episode, we were trying to find our friend, a witch who lives in the forest, but it turns out that she was, well, sent away on her own errands. In this episode, we shall be going forward into attending our own birthday party. So, in further ado, let us go forward and see what is up. Since today is an auspicious occasion, I'll spare you the rest of my lecture for now. So, so it, it's finally over? His Majesty and Her Majesty are both waiting for you, along with all the party guests. So I suggest you hurry down to the reception hall right away. Okay. Understood. Oh boy, what a- he sounds like a really great person to hang around with. Oh, what do we got in here? Obtain the Serenity Shower. Interesting, alright. This bed sure looks comfy. Ooh, okay. Nothing for now. So let's go head out and see what we have around this- our little house of ours. So! Instead of like others- so, instead of like an actual like st Story of Seasons game, you don't have your own customizable house, at least not yet or I'm aware of. You have your own castle! And to be honest, in all honesty, I'd rather have a castle. Oh, the king's room. I assume this is where our parents stay, unless they sleep in two different rooms. What are you doing here? You need to go out to the reception hall on the double. Well, I don't know if I don't want to go to the reception hall, huh? Nobody asked me what I wanted to do for my birthday. Uh, oh well. The life of a prince, I guess. The life of a prince. Alright, so this is a grand hall. I guess that's where the king and queen sits, but where's the reception hall? Okay, the guards, I guess they, they work for the Buckingham Palace, they're not saying anything. Is that the front door taking us outside? Oh, no, it's the entrance hall. Uh, it'd be nice if the bottom screen gives us a map of the building we're in. Uh, maybe it does, I'm just not aware of it. Oh, the man of the hour has arrived! He's grown into such a handsome young l lad. Looks every bit the, the hero he is. So, uh, you've finally seen fit to join us. <laughs> Happy birthday, Pietro. Thank you very much, Dad. I hear you've been frittering about outside the castle again, however. Do you have any comprehension just how worried we've all been? <laughs> oh, you're just grumpy. Pietro, this is your day. Happy birthday, my dear. May you be happy and healthy always, no matter where the road ahead should take you. I'll sure try. Yes, I share that same wish for you, my boy. But right now... <clears throat> People of Popa La Croix, thank you for gathering here today. Let the celebration begin. As a designated representative of the town's folks, let me be the first to wish many happy returns to Prince Pietro, heir to the from of Popolo Croix. Happy birthday, your highness. Happy birthday! Yay! Birthdays are fun. Now, uh, Pietro, it's only proper for the guest of honor to greet his attendees personally on an occasion like this. So please, uh, mingle and be merry. Uh, your highness, it's my birthday. I want to go home, open my gifts, and play all my video games. Well, then again, I'm gonna guess we don't have video games here. So let's see, who do we talk to here? Do we talk to everyone? Your highness. Happy birthday to you. May the blessings of the light always shine upon you, your highness. Okay. Um, you look my age. No, not really. Happy birthday, your highness. I love parties like this. They're always so fun and exciting. Okay. How about you? Happy birthday, Your Highness. From what I hear, you've got you've got another uh, guest coming tonight as well from a far-off land. It's so exciting. Oh, okay. All right, what about oh. you? I remember when I was young, I say popular Croix more than my fair share as well. Oh, Your Highness, I didn't see you there. Happy birthday. Sure you did, old man. Sure you did. Your Highness. Happy birthday, Prince. I hope I grow up to be as big and strong just like you. Oh, thanks. And how about Your you? Highness. Happy birthday, Your Highness. Oh, well, well, gee, off of her head! Everyone else gave me these long, great birthday wishes, but no! You just said happy birthday! Off of your head, I say! Okay, and what about you? 
fi finally a teenager. Guess we better keep an eye out keep an eye on you now, eh? Never know what kind of trouble you'll get into. Oh boy. Okay, I'm out over here. I picked a great time to visit, it seems. What a fest festive party. Happy birthday to you, Prince. Uh thanks, and by you. Your Highness, a very happy birthday to you. You've been you yeah, become a fine young man, the source of great pride for the whole kingdom. Oh gee, thanks. I mean no pressure on me, I guess. Your Highness. Happy birthday, Your Highness. I hope you'll come and play with the children's again sometime. Well, we still are a child, technically. Your Highness. Well now, happy birthday, young man. You should be stop you should stop by the old farm more often. Be nice to see you around there from time to time. Ooh, foreshadowing about farming! What a lovely turnout. Can you feel the love in the air, Your Highness? The spread is incredible, too. Though that might be because of our other guest. What other guest? Eh. Your Highness. Happy birthday, Your Highness, from me and, the, and from all my cats. They send their regrets they couldn't be here today. What a crime. I should. I would have invited all the cats in the kingdom to show up. Your Highness. Happy birthday, Your Highness. You are the true symbol of hope for all of Popo LaCroix. Even more so than the flame, the flame in town, as far as I'm concerned. Oh, well, gee, thanks. Ha happy birthday, Prince Pietro. The time certainly does fly, doesn't it? I can't believe it. I've, I've been living here for nearly three years now. Oh, okay. Um, Mr. Guard, what about you? Happy birthday. Okay. I guess you're a Commander General. You won't say much. Um, is that everyone? Okay, I think I talked to her. Yeah, I think I talked to everyone. So, um... Out of my way, please. Out of my way, everyone. Well, Pietro, we've spoken to all the guests. And now it's talking to... All right. Let's see, let's talk to the Queen. Happy birthday, Pietro. You certainly blossomed such a wonderful young man. I hope I, I couldn't have asked for a better son. Aw, thanks. Yes, I have. Excellent. Whenever things get rough, I hope you'll always remember their words of encouragement. These are your people, and you are their prince. It would seem there's uh, one guest who's yet to make an appearance. Ah, <laughs> I spoke too soon. Hmm? Don't think I've ever seen her around before. She's so mysterious and so beautiful. Your Majesty, I give you my sincerest apologies for this late entrance. You needn't lower your head. You've come from far off lands. It's perfectly understandable. May I have your attention, everyone? I'd like to introduce to you the person who's come the farthest to be here tonight. She's a diplomat sent here from an extraordinarily distant country called Gallery Land. Gallery Land? Can't say I've ever heard of it. That name's not on any maps I've seen either. It must be far away indeed. I wonder which direction it's in. It's a pleasure to meet you all. My name is Marmella, and I feel honored to stand before you this night. I've come a great distance to be here, all in the name of the, the deepening our friendship with you, with your beautiful kingdom of Popolacroix. Though so, there is a more pressing reason for my attendance as well, I've heard tell of the black beasts that have been terrorizing this land. These same creatures infested Gal yeah, Galarland once upon a time, and I'm here to partly to help your troops from forming like countermeasures against them. Come now. Help us fight the beasts? That's fantastic! Way to go, your majesty! Timeless... Tirelessly seeking a solution to our problems, no matter how far you gotta go, go to find it. Gonna call it now, she's the reason for the problems, but we'll see what happens. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Tonight, I've been invited to merely to predict, partake in these festive festivities, and I couldn't be happier for the kind gesture. A very happy birthday to you, Prince Pietro. May fortune smile upon Popolacroix and Galleryland alike on this joyous occasion. We can resume our tactical discussion at a later time, Your Majesty. Wow! So elegant. Beauty, dignity, and intelligence all alike! I have a son you might be interested in, Lady Mar Marimella. No, probably not. As visiting dignitaries go, uh, she's one of the most important we've ever had. And... I must say, though this is my first time meeting her in person... 
She's dressed as she as the letter suggested she would be. Well spoken, well mannered, and quite easy on the eyes to boot. Dear. Uh, <coughs> Ahem. The night grows dark. Perhaps it's time to begin dispersing the crowd. You must be exhausted, Pietro. You should return to your room and get a good night's sleep. Okay. I will, Mom. Thank you. I don't know. I mean, I think the queen looks cuter than that dignitary. She looked just kind of weird. Whew. It was a little nerve-wracking having all those eyes on me. But I'm really glad everyone came out. And they really did seem to have a good time. Good, good. It seems we made it before you conked out for the night. Gilda! The moon almost completed its rounds before I could get her here, but I did still manage it. Now, if she'll just stop hiding behind the tower, we can get this after-party started. No need to be so embarrassed, Narsha. Come on out! So, what do you think of her new outfit? She wanted something a little less conspicuous, since she's been making a lot of inquiries on my behalf. It, it looks really good on you. Thanks. Uh, what's wrong with you two? You haven't seen each other in ages, and all you can do is fidget. You've already saved the world together, you know. Gilda. I guess it's up to me to break the ice by giving you two your present. Adabra! <laughs> Wait, this smells exactly like the flower I picked for, for Narcia. Narcia. That flower basket you brought earlier inspired this particular spell. It's really a present for both of you, I suppose. Think of it as a charm. It connects the two of you through the scent of flowers. This sounds kind of creepy. Thanks! I don't really get it, but thanks! I don't think that you want to be thanking for this one. So you two younglings can have some privacy. See ya! Gilda, really now? tonight. Yeah, it really is. It's been a while, huh? It has. Have you been well, Prince Pietro? Yeah. How about you, Narsha? Well, I've been busy looking into things for my sister. ...about those dark creatures that have been showing up all around Popolo Kreis. Narsha... The Black Beast, because everyone's been pretty on edge about this about them lately. Did you find anything out? Just that something is really off about them. They have a sinister presence that I've never felt before from any other creature in all of Popolo Kreis. And I discovered something even more troubling, too. I had hoped I could get some help from our old friends, the White Knight and Gami Gami. But no matter where I looked for them, they were nowhere to be found. There's no trace of them and no sign of where they might have gone. Huh? What? They're missing? Uh, oh, I'm sure they're okay. They're strong and resourceful after all, so they'll probably come back soon enough. It just... surprised me is all. Okay. Yeah, that is surprising, but you're, but you're right. They can take care of themselves, so I'm sure they're fine. Uh, probably not. That's probably our very first quest we have to go on is to rescue them. Kilda's been saying for a while now that she thinks something is going on behind the scenes. But she can't quite put her finger on what it is. Marsha. That's kind of scary. That's why I wanted to... Give you a special present, Prince Pietro. 
Thank you. Don't mention it. It's just a charm, remember? A, a magic charm. Uh, um... Are you going to do more investigating? Yeah, I am. But I'm not going as far, so I should be able to get home earlier. <laughs> In that case, maybe I'll, I'll be able to see you at, at your place this time. Really? That would be great. Until then... I'm not gonna lie, that was downright adorable. Save your progress? Yeah, let's save. Oh, now we can have save spots! Good! Alright, yeah, we'll save here. And then I can have a save uh, save spot can actually play ahead so I can get an idea of what I'm doing here. <laughs> Morning, Prince. Last night was pretty crazy, huh? Hope you ain't too tired. No, no, not you again. My voice didn't recover from the last time I did you. No, I'm fine. After receiving all those positive feelings from all those good people, I have all the energy in the world. And now, I just really want to give back to them. I want to do whatever I can to help them. Whoa. Yeah, that's the Prince Up Petro I know. <laughs> so what would you say is the biggest problem in town right now? The one that needs the most fixing? Um, probably my voice right about now of how much I'm going to be doing this guy's voice. Well, that's, that has to be the Black Beast. I mean, His Majesty even brought in a ringer to help nip that one. So you know it's got to be serious. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. So what I want to do today is learn as much as I can about these Black Beasts. Okay, I'm on board with that. I, Goma, do hereby pledge to support you any way I can. I'm at your disposal, Prince Pietro. I don't know. That just means more of my voice is going in the, in the crapper. <laughs> and for starters, you know that tiny farm at the top of the hill just outside town, right? Yeah, I know it. Well, I hear a black beast showed up right near near there, so how about we start by asking the guy who tends the place a few questions? Okay. That's a good idea. With, the, with someone who's experiencing the problem firsthand, come on, there's no time to waste. Gomer has joined the party. Alright, let's do this. I like Gomer. He's a pretty cool look he's a pretty cool rough and tough guy. I just don't like the fact that my voice is probably gonna be destroyed by the time this let's play is over by voicing him so much. Alright, so let's get out of here and go visit that farm. So yeah. Um this game so far, you know, it's only it's maybe my second episode, second day of on my channel, but uh, this is still the first day I've had it in recording it, so you know, it's, I've had about an hour of playtime with it, and, you know, I'm enjoying it so far. But we'll see how this goes on later into the, um, into the series. Now, I guess the best way to say it is, this game, by the looks of it, is a Popular Croix game first, with Story of Seasons elements in it. So, I'm not going to be expecting too much of a, you know, Story of Seasons adventure, which means I, that gives me an excuse to upload more Story of Seasons, um, on my channel. Alright, Town of Popolo Croix. So, uh, I figured to follow that blue arrow, I think. But, um, yeah. That's pretty much what we're going to we're gonna be doing for now. Whoops, I think I was going the wrong way there. Um, I'll probably upload more regular Story of Seasons. Nice to see you. Oh, nice for you too. Blessings of delight can be felt just anywhere, just by just anyone. But maybe you're the only, maybe you're one of the lucky ones, Prince. I see. But anyway, like I was saying... I'm um, we'll be uploading more regular story seasons to this channel a bit. I have been so caught up in Stella Glow and schoolwork and whatnot that it's just been really busy. Uh, so can I actually get a bigger map? Oh, there we go. I know in the guidebook there's actually a o an overall map of the entire area. I just haven't had my, myself had the time to actually uh, study it and get an idea of where everything is. So yeah, ooh, this is an abandoned house. Wonder if that'll come in handy later. All right, so maybe this is the way to the farm. I'm gonna hope. No, we're just, okay, the Popolo Croix field. I guess this is gonna be like an overfield of uh, places to go. I don't know if we can get random encounters here, or if it's only like in the forest and such. Oh, a sign. 
All right, tiny farm this way. That's very, um, very convenient. A tiny farm. Wonder if it's really tiny and we can get random encounters in the field. Oh, yay, this is gonna be fun. Well, the combat is honestly, I don't really mind it too much. It's, it's, it's different. Like, um, I, I mean, it's not like, oh, oh wow, that totally hurt. I, I am totally hurt by that one damage you did. It, okay, I deserve that. I deserve that. But, um, yeah. So, the combat is honestly, it's pretty nice. It's not, it's nothing like, you know, um, and your typical turn-based RPG combat, which is fine. Give it, you know, give the formula a bit of a mix-up. So here's the farm. Ooh, hello, Mr. Farmer. Mm hmm? Was that? Well, if it ain't Prince Pietro himself in the flesh. What you doing up here, young man? All right. Well, I was hoping to learn a little more about the Black Beast, if you have any details you can share. Come now. Ah, you mean them shadowy monsters that have been uh, popping up all over them, this him here place. Friend of mine got attacked by one of them not too long ago, got a cut up real bad, and this farm was dang near ruined by the critter. But I ain't never seen one personally, hope I don't need- I don't neither. Hmm, hmm guess my guess intel my was- my intel was wrong. Don't think we're gonna learn much more up here. That's fine. So, maybe if we are lucky, a black beast will attack this place now. Probably worth waiting around a little to see. Hey, 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 what, what do you mean, if you're lucky? Don't even joke about that. That, it ain't funny. Ah, uh, oh, sorry, I didn't mean it that way. How else am I supposed to take it? <laughs> well, Prince, as long as we're here, maybe we should stick around a little. You never know what might happen. After all, this is an RPG. What could happen? <laughs> Honestly, if that, if that don't think well does happen, I'd be real glad if that if if to have you here with me, Your Highness. Maybe we'll, while you're here, the, the, you could help me harvest some, some of these vegetables. Yay! Story of Seasons gameplay. Your Highness. So what what do you what do you say, Prince? Will you lend this old man a hand in this time of need? No need to, to be worried. It's easy. Just stand in front of the vegetable wool if you harvest and press the E button to pluck it out of the ground. All right, how harvest? How to? Give it a try. All right. Okay, so it's, um, more of traditional Harvest Moon, as in, like, before the Story of Seasons formula took over of how you can harvest everything in one go. Oh, I am so used to Story of Seasons, where you can just, like, run across the entire field and mash the A button to pick up everything. But as you can see, we have a very familiar Harvest Moon interface, or Story of Seasons interface here. As you see in the bottom right corner, we have the meter, or, sorry, your, um, your tool meter, which is the tool you have... The highlighted, uh, highlighted uh, crops, crops areas and whatnot. So yeah, we have some nice fields here. Pietro has learned how to harvest crops. Thank you much for your help, your highness. Now if you'll please hand me the yield. Lend the poor old, okay cool, help him harvest his vegetables. This will be the first uh, major trial, are you ready? <laughs> I can't tell, I can't tell you how much I appreciate this. Thank you again, truly. Even so soon, well, feel free to come back anytime. Looks like there's something up ahead in this way. Hey, that's one of them, ain't it? It really is one of them. You see, are you seeing this, Prince? It's totally different from the other monsters around here. It is, as you suspect, a black beast. Please, allow me to take care of it. Huh? Are you alright, Prince Pietro? Marmella! Yes, I'm fine. That's a relief. It is fortunate I happened to stroll by this hill when I did. Oh, come on. We could have taken him. We knew over 300 damage to regular enemies. I'm sure we could have taken him on. These black beasts po possess an enormous power. I fear that even the great hero Popolo Croix could not easily defeat them. Well, I didn't say we could easily defeat them, but I said we could have probably have taken it. Thank you very much for your help. I'm actually pretty impressed. You're really strong, Mar Marmaline. Marmalade? No, no, no. I simply know the creature's vulnerabilities, as well as their calling card. Look there, your highness. Oh, the ah. soil where it 
was standing is a totally different color. This tells me that the, that the black beast here is Popola, is a, in Popola Croix are the same as the variety as those from Gal Galleryland. <laughs> That's gross. It looks like either a tar or something. Regrettably, this is the true nature of the black beast and the true cause for alarm. They corrupt the earth, stealing life energy from the soil. Once a patch of land is changed in this, in this manner, nothing will ever grow upon it again. And should this effect be spread across all of Popola Croix, the results will be disastrous. Come now. Y you serious? If this happens, we, we couldn't even be going on living here. We'd starve. Precisely my point. We must exercise countermeasures against these creatures now before it's too late. Much of the reason I'm employed to the transport circle and, and came of this land in the first place was to warn, warn you all of this very threat. Transport circle? Never heard of it. Oh, oh this is... G Gomer, I love reading... Okay, you guys want me to keep reading Gomer's lines in this voice? Because it is destroying my throat. <laughs> and that was the magic you used. S same real strong. Definitely got more questions than answers. That was a secret art of the of the gallery people. With all the turmoil spurred by the, by the Black Beast, we've learned a thing or two about to mitigate, help mitigate the damage. Can you teach me how to do that stuff? I don't want to sit by and watch my people suffer. A noble sentiment indeed, Prince Pietro. However... No. This is too grave a matter to discuss here. I feel it would be best to continue our talk in the presence of His Majesty. And since you have now observed the destructive cap capacity of the Black Beast firsthand, your input will improve most in invaluable. Will you join me? Okay! All right, yeah, sure, why not? I don't see a problem with joining us. Hmm, I see. So the Black Beasts aren't just a danger to the town folk, but to the land itself as well. That's correct. I cannot stress enough the urgency which con which countermeasures must be taken. If all if all the fertile soil in Popola Cross should become corrupted, we'd be finished. What do we do, Your Majesty? Calm yourself, Chancellor. No answers are born out of panic. It is clear to me that we must devote all our resources to combating this problem. The question is, how do we go about it? And that is a good question indeed. Your Majesty, I have a proposal that proposal to that end. Please, go on. My purpose in coming to this land was to teach our techniques for repelling the Black Beast to someone from Popolo Croix. In Gallery Land, there lives a powerful sorcerer who knows these cre creatures in, in and out. The spell could be master mastered very quickly with his guidance. Capital idea! However, whoever studies under the Wet Wizard could then be able to defeat the Black Beast just as you did, Lady Marmalade. It does sound like the perfect solution, and it's very kind of you to offer your, your land secrets to our people. More suspicion. Why am I so suspicious of her now? It certainly is. It's more than I ever could could have hoped. For, from when I invited you to join us here, Lady Marmalade, you must, you must, yeah, you have my most heartfelt thanks. Shall we work out the details now, then? By all means, we must choose a loyal soldier of Popola Croix to under, undertake this mission at once. But before that... Pietro, thank you for your contribution. You are dismissed. But, 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 I do understand and greatly appreciate the care and dedication you have for your people. However, you're, you're, you've only just completed the right of succession for the crown. There's still much for you to learn. And it would be irresponsible for me to send you on another adventure when you're so many duties awaiting you as prince of this land. All of Popola Grace thanks you for your efforts today, however. You show true fealty and initiative, but right now, I suggest you go upstairs and rest. Well, that just sounds boring. Yes, Dad. I mean, God, I don't want to sign up for that. I want to go on adventures and stuff. Ugh, oh well. So, next time on Let's Play, Return to Popola Croix, A Story of Seasons Fairy Tale. We shall be going back to our room, getting our rest, and seeing what other princely duties that we have to do. If you enjoyed this series, leave a comment down in the comments below, letting me know what you guys think of the series so far, and be sure to check out the first episode of this series. And as always, everyone, this is Gamma Lad signing off.